Hello guys, welcome back once again. In this video, we look at creating our first desktop application with JavaScript inside of Visual Studio 2022. We'll also look at the necessary components needed for us to get started. But before we do so, please make sure and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get straight into it. So first thing first, make sure you have Visual Studio 2022 installed on your system as well as Node.js. If you've already got Visual Studio installed, let's go ahead and open the Visual Studio installer. Click on the modify. So on the workloads here, make sure you've got this box checked. This is the Node.js development. So this will actually help you build a scalable network applications using Node.js, yeah? And then make sure you go to Node.js dot org the official website and download and install node.js as well once you're done with all of that yeah let's close the visual studio installer and open a visual studio here let's go ahead and create a new project so once you've, you've done one if you are, once you've installed the work uh, the workloads make sure you select the javascript and scroll down and select blank node.js console app Okay, so th uh, this is just an empty node.js node application. So let's go ahead and click on next. And here you can configure your project details, but we're not going to do too much into that. So let's go ahead and click on the create. So as you can see here now, we've got a project created for us now. So let's let's open the, the uh, command and install electron and create the necessary files needed for us to get started so right click on the on the project and open command prompt okay so here this is what we're going to do you're going to type npm init um, dash y Okay, and then we're going to install um, Electron. So npm install Electron and save. Then Okay, so let's minimize the command prompts. So as you can see here now, we've got electrons, electron installed here. So let's let's go to the app.js. Let's remove this bit and let, and let's start coding here. So first, let's put this const app and then um, browser window. So this will be equal to require um, electron. So let's add the electron. So the next page, let's create a function. I mean, let's add a function to create a window. So this will be a function create window so inside this is function let's put this variable um, let's call it win and this will be the new instance of our browser window And now let's add our window, our windows attribute. The width.
Okay, so here I made, let's put the S here to make a browser. So it's a browser window. Browser window. So the width, let's make it 800. And the height, let's set that to 600. And then um, the web preference, this will be uh, node integration, set that to true. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it's not very difficult. So the next bit is, of course, we put win, load our file, win.load file. So here, this will be a, a index.html, which we're going to create in a bit, yeah? In a, just a moment. We're going to create that file, I mean the file windows.html. So we're done with this bit here. So let's go on to the next part, yeah? So we put up dot, when ready, dot then, so when the app is ready, we create a window. So the next is uh, app dot on. We put the, the windows closed. Yeah, window closed all. Windows are closed. So we check if the windows is. Oh, it's not all closed, then we close it. Yeah, so this will be put this function So we put this check here if So if uh, the process dot platform It's not it's not Darwin. Then if we up dot quit. Okay, so as you can see uh, this is the this is what we have here for now. So let's put one more stuff here. So up dot on activate. So we activate the app uh, for this function. Just okay. So we check if so if um, the browser window dot get all windows. dot length is zero that means we have no windows created this is what we want to do we want to create a window we put a create window function here okay so this is what we have for now so as you can see it's not very difficult yeah so the next day is right click on the project Add new item. So we add HTML file, and we're going to call this index.html, like the one we put here. So on the title, let's just write desktop app 
So inside the body, let's put a button. And the ID. This will be my button. So let's let's give it, let's put here, click me. Okay. So right after this, let's put a very simple <coughs> script to handle the click event. So get documents, get elements by ID. So this will be my button. And then let's add event listener. So this will be our click event. And then let's put the function to handle it. So let's just put alert and but button clicked. Yeah, so as you can see here now, it's not very difficult. Let's save this and save the app.js as well. Okay, so now what we do is we, we run it. So let's open our our command prompt and put this NPS NPS electron so okay there's some small um, typo so let's let's do it again NPS elect Run. Okay, so once we actually run this, is what we get first. So it's actually t um, telling us to put this instead. So let's copy this and close it. So let's paste it here. So now the part. Let's make the path app.js and then let's go. So as you can see here now, we've got the desktop, our new desktop open. I mean desktop app open. Yeah, so if we click it, we get this style of button clicked. Okay, so as you can see, it's a very simple stuff. And I hope this actually helps you yeah, to, 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 to explore further, okay? So I'm just going to leave this video here for now. Okay, so I'll, I'll make a, a follow-up video. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.